Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another crypto video and today, yes, we are going to be talking about the XRP price and I already know a lot of you guys have been waiting on this for a good while and a lot of other people are going to hate me for making this video. So I'm going to kindly ask you to press the like button to even out with all the dislikes we are about to get for covering the potentially crazy XRP price targets. But again, I think it is important to make sure you understand exactly what is and what is impossible, but most importantly, why? Why something would and why something would not be possible at one point or another, and what the general community is thinking. These articles, these types of things get a ton of attention, and that's again, really something you should pay close attention to yourself, right? If everybody's expecting something, you should know about that. And so today, we're gonna be talking about a very, very spoken about price prediction plus some other price stuff. So just make sure you press the like button and make sure you don't comment stuff like, oh, this is not possible or, duh, 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 if you haven't watched the video, all right? So having said that, XRP price prediction. As we have all probably heard, XRP will bridge all the money in the world. And it is easy to see why it is fast, reliable, cheap, and a potential ledger for CBDCs. Now, this last part specifically, we have actually covered in previous video and most of these parts here, uh, all of them actually, yeah, they're, they're quite logical, okay. However, all is a big ask. So I'm going to be working off XRP controlling a 14% share of the 87% of money in the world. Why? Well, ISO 2022. ISO 20022 estimates that it will be supporting 87% of financial transactions by 2023. Ripple 2020, also cited by ISO 2020, involved in ISO 2022. Uh, wait, sorry, okay. ISO 2022 includes Cardano, Algorand, XTC Network, Ripple, Fixed Particle Limited, uh, ISDA, ISITC, Omega, or Om Omgeo. Swift and Visa by Wikipedia 2021. Now, I actually decided to fact check that a little bit. One of the only things I could find was from 2018, ISO 20022 migration, the time is now. And, and one of the parts which is states right there, states right there at the uh, kind of start of things already is right here. ISO 20022 is global success. In the next five years, the standard will dominate high value payments businesses, supporting 80% of the volume and 89% of the value of transactions worldwide as forthcoming implementations in the Eurozone, US, UK, join already uh, live systems in Switzerland, Japan, China, and India. And ISO 20022 is the dominant standard in the instant payments market, including implementations in Australia, US, Canada, Sweden, Denmark, and Singapore. So. You can definitely understand where the connection is right there and how exactly this factors in. Okay, I can see it. Moving on, this shows that there are 11 companies slash cryptos working in this standard between financial institutions. If the market share was split equally, then each would be responsible for nine of the 87% of the financial transactions worldwide. However, nothing is ever equal, and with Ripple leading the way to bridge CBDCs as they are already in talks with the European Central Bank for a digital euro, by Bitcoin.com 2021, and by the, East, by the Bank of France, their report from 2020, and the Bank of England for a digital pound by Bank of America 2017, it will be safe to say that XRP are front runners in all of this. Therefore, that is why we are giving XRP a 14% share rather than 9%. So, the maths. We need the global financial market size, which is $867 trillion, according to the World Economic Forum, as cited in Coindesk. We now need to work out 87% of us that will give us how much ISO 20022 will manage, which is 754.29 trillion. We now need to work out the 14% of this to give us the potential market cap for XRP, which is 7, um, 754.29 trillion times 0 0.14 is 105 trillion. And now to find the value of one XRP, you need to divide the potential market cap by the amount of coins. Let's work with the 100 billion coins for simplicity, which means 105 trillion divided by 100 billion, equaling $1,050 per XRP. This would place one XRP at $1,050. Remember, this is all hypothetically speaking and just a theory. However, the numbers are there. And if these events play out, there's a lot of potential. This is not financial advice. Do not buy or sell anything due to my work. I'm gonna kind of quote that once more, right? Not financial advice. 
So, what is my opinion on this as a guy who talks about XRP quite often? Well, my opinion on this is it makes sense, but it doesn't conclude anything. So, where it makes sense is the fact that ISO 20022 is going to be a really big game changer. Where it also makes sense is that Ripple is going to be part of that, and most likely a bigger part of that. And again, 14%, I would say is just... Is just a miscellaneous number. I don't know exactly where he got that from because Swift will get a big deal. Visa, of course, you know, I mean, every other part here, it's only the cryptos that will have a small part, right? The rest is already sounding like it would also have a huge part. So 14%, just taking out of thin air, but not sounding that ridiculous. So in terms of how much of a percentage in the total they would have, that's valid. But then stating that $105 trillion, which is the potential market cap for the total, is also what the market cap for XRP would be. That's something which is also based upon nothing. And then again, 100 billion coins can be disputed because right now there's only 50 billion in circulation, but okay, okay, okay. So one of the guys in the comments also states here uh, a little overview of, for example, the, the good parts of XRP, why it has everything and why we'll keep having everything and also how much these markets are worth. And again, if XRP encompasses a part in all of that, ooh, it's going to be quite a big deal. I'm going to agree with that too. All right. Right now, we're just in kind of a phase one for XRP slash Ripple. There's way, way, way more to come. That's the truth. Then again, one of the guys here also quotes, flawed. As you haven't taken into account, each XRP can be used multiple times every minute, 24-7. By dividing an annual amount by the total XRP supply is just silly based on what I already mentioned. And Tom says, isn't XRP deflationary as well? A tiny bit is used up every transaction, which is true. Then again, it's 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 a difficult one, all right? It's a really difficult one because what they're saying is right. One XRP can be used so often, so it's it's not like the market cap really needs to be that to encompass. It, it depends on what basis they took. If they're talking about how much of a market cap the company would have, and so the market cap of the cryptos has that automatically because of some fair share, okay, that's something. But if you're talking about how much money is needed in XRP to encompass all of this, then that doesn't make any, any sense. And that's actually one of the fun things, which uh, I just wanted to show you guys what ISO st stood for, but you most likely already know by now. Otherwise, you most likely already looked it up. But here you go. What is also interesting is how people are usually talking about these things. Like, for example, $10,000 per XRP is often speculated on. And here, one guy even, I don't know why, but one guy says, Elon Musk says you need to buy $1,000 XRP right now. This is BS. Here was the $35,000 XP price prediction. And here was another stupid one. XP is breaking out to $1,000. All interesting yet all dumb. Why? Because they're all based upon thin air to some degree. Is it possible? Let's quickly put that up front here. Well, most likely yes. Why? Well, if you take a look at the options market or whatever market you want to look at, they're worth so much. And specifically the, the, the currency market. We don't know exactly how much money is in there, but it's so ridiculously big there's nothing which you could put up there. It's so big. Who knows how much money is in there? But it's so ridiculously big. Nobody really knows exactly, right? Once more, it's so big. Same thing for commodity markets, bond market, stock market. Most likely there's some, some metrics out there for how much those are, but it's so huge. I like, I like how I repeat that all the time, right? That's what she said. It's so huge to look at. Wow. No, but it's so big. It, it, it's, it's just like if you draw the parallels... What if cryptocurrency as a market gets to that hole? What if it gets a part of the traditional currency market? Or what if it gets a part of the traditional stock market or anything like that? What if, what if it kind of matches up with those? Then you already know the math there that crypto is going to expand by, let's say, 50 to 100 times, for example. So if we go times 100, XP is already at $100 per coin. Then again, I believe XRP will overtake a larger part in the entire crypto market by, for example, times six or so. This is already XRP times 600 if it overtakes one of those markets or, or comes on par. Then again, I do believe that it might actually get bigger and on par, if it were to be 100 trillion, well, you have that. If it's 200 trillion, no, it's already double. Whatever you put up there, for example, $500 per XRP is definitely possible following the basis that crypto can grow 500. Uh, I'm going to say crypto can grow 100 times from here. And XRP's market share in the total will be five times bigger than it is today. From that perspective, a lot is possible. Then again, how are people coming to 35,000, 10,000, just random. Uh, they don't really have any good bases. I've checked almost every one of those predictions out and they're not really based upon logic or anything like that. Here's, for example, some things um, over on Reddit. People are also wondering like why a lot of people are saying, oh, it's never possible. And here's somebody saying, do yourself a favor and stop watching crypto. Clickbaiting YouTube channels that you want your attention. 
for a good part is the truth. Um, I must admit, for a good part is the truth. It's it's for a good. I don't I don't like to talk about it, but it is. Somebody says, unfortunately, being such a shit reader, I try to learn stuff from YouTube. I can usually tell if it's a clickbait video and won't watch them. I only use it for facts about the company and what they are doing. Edit. Why the negative down? But yeah, okay. And somebody else says, there's a couple of good channels for XP realistic price predictions, but anyone that's claiming anything more than over $100 for this bull run is almost certainly an unreliable clickbait wet stain. Um, didn't pronounce that properly, but you guys most likely get it. Uh, there actually, this part comes about this bull run. There's another really important part. What are your targets for when? I mean, if we're, for example, putting up the time frame to, you know, for example, 30 years, then all these things change. And, and that's also one thing with this one right here, the ISO 2022. There's potential for that in really short term. Not going to lie to you. There's a lot of potential. How fast, though, will it be for Ripple, as a smaller company, to actually take a bigger share in that? Why would it be bigger than, for example, 1%? Ripple has said it before they'll overtake a very good percentage, but a good percentage of the entire market would, for example, be 5%, right, of the entire market. That would be a really, really huge percentage, as Ripple has just been here for, like, let's say, eight years or so. It's still a startup. It's still a starting company. And that's one fun thing as well. Um, that is just really growing here. It's just starting out. And there's so many more years before XRP is going to get to its full potential or Ripple, for example. So if you're putting up some higher prediction targets, there's no end date for it. So if somebody asks me, is $500 possible? Well, yes, of course. When? I have no idea. It's just theoretically speaking, not that strange of a thing. Are we going to witness it? I don't know. I can't look at my glass ball and tell you. I just know, for example, that if you're putting a date like 2027, you're going to make things quite difficult because there's no real good reasoning as to why it's gonna happen unless, and this is a key part, unless, all of this what I've just said is all with the basis, unless you're talking about the US dollar devaluing, which basically means the purchasing power of $1 is way less than it ever was. Like for example, one one thousandth of what it was before. If the dollar did like what the, what the Deutsche Mark did a long time ago, well, yeah, then things change, right? Of course, obviously. If one dollar buys you as as um, if ten thousand dollars buys you as much as a dollar did before, then of course one XP can hit ten thousand dollars, and so forward and so on. If XP were to become the world reserve currency, which nothing necessarily hints that it's going to, well, yeah, then things change. But all those things are nothing which we can really build or speculate on right now. It's it's not in our in our closed minded vision here just quite yet. These things are all possible, yes, but. We can't expect them to happen. All we can expect for right now is Ripple, and that's again our hope, uh, is Ripple to win this loss and the price going times, for example, five or seven or something like that. Or or Bitcoin just doing good in this bull run and taking XP upwards again, maybe times five, maybe times 10, something like that. That's all within margin. That's all easy to predict or all easy to think about. These higher targets, it's fun. I know it's very fun to talk about them, but there's nothing pointing towards them just quite yet. We have to wait until Ripple gets further into this entire process to actually start speculating more about them. And then again, my final conclusion would be a lot is possible, so much is possible. But if XP is going to grow, a lot of these other cryptos will grow too. So you're basically just speculating on the entire crypto market growing by some huge margins. Or you're expecting Ripple to propel XP into the, uh, the moon by some of the technologies which they've been building for XRP. Then again, then it does come into question though, how much of an influence will Ripple have on XRP? How far will they take it? How much will they do? Because right now, one of the questions which the SEC put up is, is Ripple one of the main factors helping the XP price up? If yes is the case, then it's really bad for the lawsuit. If no is the case, then well, who is? And, and what project will be built on there too? Then again, this conclusion, or sorry guys, this screenshot here is actually quite important. Ripple has told us before that it's just the first vertical where they are right now, the cross-border payments thing. It might be that XRP slash Ripple is gonna take on some entirely new markets which we have never thought about before. Basically making XRP so extremely valuable that it has to be at $1,000 per coin. It just has to because people will be buying it like crazy. There might be some crazy 40% token burn in the future. You know, doubling, for example, well, not illogical, but okay, uh, the XP price because all the tokens will be gone. There could be so many things happening. Crypto is only 11-ish years old and it's already trillions of dollars worth. What is going to happen in the next 15? What if something huge happens? There's another pandemic, V3.0 or 2.0, whatever. And, and, and the dollar just goes crashing beyond what is imaginable. Some huge stimulus packages again. It's so unimaginable that these things are all possible, but there's no direct link towards them. All right. 
But I don't want to keep you guys any longer. I just want to put all my thoughts into this video right here. So yes, a lot is possible. What is going to happen though? Let's wait. Right now, what is most prominent is just a lawsuit and everything's going to happen regarding that. Ripple just has so many new parts to explore, but all of that is just going to kind of develop once they get the proper clarity. If they don't, if they lose this lawsuit, then all our dreams and predictions are already just a lot less likely. So let's wait it off first, and then we'll talk about the future as time moves on and as the crypto space develops itself as well. What if some crazy regulations come to actually destroy crypto altogether? What if Ripple just gets you know, sued for some bigger layer of fraud right now? A lot of things can happen, all right? So... Whew, that was it. Hopefully it didn't anger too many people. I really, really hope so. And uh, I'll see you guys again in another crypto video later today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Take care, everybody, and have a very, very nice day.